Okay, in this lesson, we want to explain user interface of Rhino. This is user interface of Rhino. If you open a software in a help about Rhino servers, this will, in the first launch of software, this window will pop up and we have a several tab here. The first tab is recent. You can access, you have access to your recent files that you, uh, you can access them here and this is a license tab you can open your project from your pc or the important uh, tab here in new you can choose a different template of the software here we have uh, different template divided to the large and the small mm, in large we have lots of units centimeter meters meters inch feet or millimeter different between them are to uh, absolute tolerant here you can uh, study your this explanation here for more better understand them default it is a large object in a centimeter you can click it or go into the uh, software interface we have this is uh, of uh, viewport that we insert our 3d model and work with them in a different angle perspective top front or right and like any 3d software we have a uh, lots of tool around the software uh, different <coughs> tabs here as you can see in the some tabs the some menu is changed dynamically here as you can see, we have lots of tools that are icon and it's, uh, graphically uh, categorized here. As you can see, the default is the standard that all of uh, most of useful common are here. You can hold mouse over them and you can access subcategory of all common here. But our strategy in Making tutorial in Rhino is that we are going to this menu, these menus here. All of these menus, we have lots of tools. All tools in a Rhino are categorized, well categorized here. And after that, there is pretty here to better use for you. Here are just text, but in <coughs> this comment, this comment, these comments here, there are a lo lots of icons and graphically you can use them. But if you hold mouse over them, you can uh, see its text and the common name. Okay, so all of these tool, these tools here and here, all well categorized here. Our strategy is to first uh, explaining the <clears throat> common here one by one. Its name in a menus and i show you the graphically icon of them here to better understand and use them in the further <coughs> um, here we have some tabs and other tabs here that are sitting for viewport camera the sitting for layers the rhino is different from the other software and the other software, for example, in the Cinema 4 in Maya or in the 3D package, we have an object manager here. Any object that you insert in the scene will be appear in here. But in a Rhino, we have a layer. You have to assign the layer to object to manage them. We hope the Rhino will be add that feature. Here is a render sitting, material sitting, the library. <clears throat> I will be explain them in its order in the next lessons don't worry here we then we are in a snap options and a lot of options that we will explain you a status bar our strategy for making tutorial is first we are going to the curve menu and going down one by one <coughs> the basic tools for modeling any software are curves or point line edge okay in this software is curves you draw curves line uh, anything after that you cover them with a surface we have a lot of surface 
coming here after that we can uh, these are nerves modeling called nerves modeling after that we are can we can using subdivision modeling we can <clears throat> use a point for changing the soft model the smooth model after that we can go into the solid comments we have lots of solid comment and <clears throat> mesh comment here uh, after that we can combine the meshes combine the surfaces lines together and edit them then we can use a dimension tool for better and accurate modeling transform tool all the tools in this uh, <clears throat> Rhino are categorized here other tools then we can analyze analyze them <clears throat> surface care point uh, and after that we can render them and the final output is here so our strategy is moving from this menu to the ends we have tons of settings and comments in a Rhino after that you uh, understand and you know all the comments in a rhino and you can manage your project very easily okay we combine this menu and this uh, part of the rhino here is a uh, with the text here is a graphically i will teach you one by one don't worry here is a common history for example going in line and uh, click click for a line don't worry for that here is a common history <clears throat> the software told uh, tell you what you do and here is a common prompt it, this is a very important part of the software you can type any uh, comment directly here i call this part of the software uh, the place for talking with the software and software talking with you for example, if you want to create a line, the software tell, tell you first click, first do this, then do that. And the important setting of the tools, the comment will be appear here. And first you have to choose its setting and then uh, execute your comment. The Rhino is a different software in the different uh, methods for doing its job. And that's it. This is Rhino user interface. Stay tuned with us for other tutorials. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.